Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is on Proposition 12 of Book 2, which talks about the properties of an obtuse triangle. If we have our obtuse triangle ABC, we extend the line AC outwards towards point D, and from B, we draw a line that is perpendicular to AC. Where it intersects, we call that point D. BC is opposite the obtuse angle at A. In this situation, BC squared is equal to AC squared plus BA squared plus twice DA times AC. Now, if you remember from high school, or you might remember from high school, the cosine law, let BC equal A, AC equal B, BA is equal to C. Now, DA is equal to cos of alpha. Theta is 180 degrees minus alpha. Cos of 180 minus an angle is minus cos of the original angle. All that's saying is that cos of alpha is equal to the minus cos of theta. Substituting all of this information into what is stated in the proposition, we end up that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2 times b times c times cos of theta. And this is the cosine law. So this proposition is essentially the cosine law for obtuse triangles. Now, to prove it, if we look at our line dc, it is cut into two at the point eight. A. dc squared equals dA squared plus AC squared plus twice dA times AC. And this is from proposition four of book two. Now if we add dB squared to both sides of the equation, so we've added it here and we've added it to here. So this equation still holds. But what is dC squared plus dB squared? Well, let's look at the triangle BDC. BD squared plus D squared, DC squared, excuse me, is equal to BC squared. So if we take this part of the equation and sub substitute BC squared, the equation is still true. So now we have this equality. But what's DA squared plus DB squared? Well, again, let's look at our triangle BDA dA squared plus BD squared is equal to BA squared or AB squared. Again, taking this part of this equation and replacing it with AB squared, we end up with it BC squared equals AB squared plus AC squared plus twice AD times AC, which is the original proposition. And thus we have shown cosine law for obtuse angles. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.